my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate and I film tons of lifestyle videos for you guys. So today is something I've never actually filmed before. It's going to be, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's going to be some sort of like iPhone decluttering slash what's on my iPhone slash how I organize my iPhone kind of video. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it yet, but it's going to be something along the lines of that. So yeah, I've been recently really into like decluttering my life in quarantine. So I started with like decluttering the whole apartment and just going through and sorting through cupboards and just stuff like that and clothing and everything. And so I did that and then I decluttered my phone and my bathroom and just like a bunch of stuff. So I wanted to show you guys like how I did that. So also the phone I have is just the iPhone 7. I know it is nothing fancy, but I'm just on that college you know, budget, so I know when I do graduate I'll definitely be getting a new phone, but until then, this just works. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can kind of see the layout of my phone. Before, I wish I had taken a before photo, but before I just had like three layers of just like apps to go through, but now as you guys can see, it's just, you know, a lot more just like not as cluttered and there's just a lot more space so I can actually see my wallpaper too. So let me show you my wallpaper. This is it right here, it'll be <laughs> up here. <laughs> so yeah, this is it, I think it's so cute. I found it on Pinterest. All of my um, iPhone backgrounds are either photos I've taken myself, like usually one of like Justin and I, or I get them from Pinterest. They have the cutest backgrounds and you can just save them and use it for your phone. And yeah, I love this one. I just love the aesthetic. It's very neutral. It's very me. And I just love like the summer vibes to it. And I just love the little message that it has. Just like instead of being on your phone, like go out and just kind of live your life and, you know, make memories. And I just thought that that was really cute and a good reminder for us all to have since we just sit on our phones during quarantine. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. So how I've set up my first screen is I have all of my, like some of my most used I like apps, <laughs> some of my most used apps right on the bottom screen. So as you guys can see, I just have Safari, I have my email, I have my messages. A lot of people have their phone down there, but I literally never call people. Like I'm always texting and then I have my Spotify because I'm definitely a Spotify girl and not an Apple Music girl. And let me just go into my Spotify. So I have a bunch of playlists. My favorite playlist right now is my Beach Vibes playlist. It's so good. It's pretty much just a bunch of like Kygo songs. And if you guys don't know who Kygo is or you don't know many of his songs, like please go listen to this um, playlist. It's so good. And then just a bunch of like Kelvin Harris. There definitely a lot of throwbacks and just some like flow rider and whatever. I definitely need to add to it because it, there's not a lot on there, but I just kind of made it. And yeah, I'm, I love it. So I'm definitely, so I'm definitely gonna be adding a lot of songs to it. And let me know if you want me to do like a summer playlist drive with me kind of thing, cause maybe I'll use that. And it's just like the perfect beach playlist. So very summery vibes. So then if you also look at just at the top of my phone, <laughs> you'll see I just have the stuff that I use pretty much every day, just like the average apps that I would use like all the time. So I have two of my calendars, just the one that it comes with the Apple one and then my Google Calendar, because if I do put something on my computer, it always goes to my Google Calendar. I then have my reminders. I use that all the time. I send myself a million reminders, whether it's to post a photo or to film a video or something like that. I have Shazam because I find a lot of my like no copyright music from that. Like if I hear a song in someone's video, I always Shazam it and I'm like, okay, I'm going to use that in my video. And then I just have my notes section. I make a ton of notes, including just like what to do when I'm filming. So like little just notes on what I'm going to be saying or what I'm going to be talking about in my videos. <laughs> and then I have my photos, my phone, my FaceTime, maps, which I don't use that often, but I figured it should be there. Um, weather, I use this all the time because weather in Connecticut changes every two seconds, so I always need to know what is happening. Um, podcasts, which I used to use a lot, like a lot, but I just haven't because I am usually listen to it when I'm driving, but I haven't been doing a lot of driving um, recently because of quarantine, but I'll quickly show you like who I listen to. So I listen to um, Julia Christine. She has... I believe it's Julia Christine. She has her podcast, The Unsocial Butterfly, The Real Real by Natalie Babu, I Love You So Much with Kenzie Elizabeth, Gals on the Go, um, The Skinny Confidential, 
um, how I built this and just Gretchen's podcast. So that's kind of like who I really listen to when I do listen to podcasts. And then I just have like the random stuff. So like my calculator, um, my camera, my settings, and then my clock, which just has all of my alarms. And then I have this like extras folder, which is just a bunch of stuff that I just really don't use very often, but I didn't want to delete it. So it's all just kind of in that folder. Okay, so the second screen is what I use a lot as well. So it's all set up in terms of like what I'm using the most. So my social media, my YouTube, my editing, my finance, like all my banking apps. Um, then like some shopping, food, travel, and school. That row I really don't use a lot, but the top row I use so much. And I thought I would show you guys how I do my little folders. Okay, so if I click on this, I can edit my, <laughs> I can edit what I call my folders. So I'll just call this one social because I think that's what I had it before or socials. And then what I do to make it look super aesthetic is I just make it all capitals or you could make it all lowercase, but I like the capitals. And then I do a space between each letter. So just like this. And that is how I do the little headings for each folder. I just think it looks so much more aesthetic than if you had it this way. If I just had it like this, like I feel like that just doesn't look nearly as good as the all capitals and the spaces. I just think it's just like easier to read too. And I just like it a lot better. So also what I did forget to <laughs> say to you guys is I also color code, co co oh my gosh, I can't speak. So I also color code my entire phone. So as you can see on the first screen, it starts from like white, it goes into colors, then to gray and then black. And then the same thing with this section below with my Safari, it's white to black. And I do that within each of my folders because I just know my app so well. So I know, oh, this is like a white icon. I can just go straight up there. So it's not in order of preference, but in my socials, I just kind of have my Pinterest, which has a lot of just like decor stuff. Like I look at it for like maybe outfit inspiration or just like home inspiration. That's pretty much what it is. Then I just have like Messenger and Facebook, which I really don't post anything on Facebook. It's just really to keep in contact with like my family overseas. I have Snapchat, which I pretty much never use besides this one group that I'm in with like my friends in the apartment building, but I literally don't use Snapchat at all. I then have my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go and check it out. So this is just kind of what my feed looks like. It's very neutral and that kind of thing. Just lots of neutrals and whites and it's it's very me. <laughs> so yeah, I've been trying to make it super aesthetic as of lately. And then I just have my TikTok. I do not have a TikTok account. I haven't even like made any sort of account whatsoever. I pretty much just go on and watch a bunch of just like um, those DIY videos, like homes. Like I see a lot of homes in Texas that are like $300,000 and they look amazing. Like so much better than what you could get here in Connecticut for that price. And just oh and lots of puppies and lots of babies oh my gosh they're so cute so that's pretty much what i do on tiktok i then have my youtube section this just has my youtube studio app so it's just like tells me like you know if someone commented on my video how many views i have my analytics and that kind of thing so i'm not going to go into that but yeah that's just kind of how i like check everything on how my videos are doing i then obviously have my youtube app then in terms of editing, I have a few things. So the first thing I have is Visco. That's just how I edit pretty much all of my photos. Um, I do have a video on this, so I'll try and like add a card so you guys can see if you wanna know how I edit my photos, but I do use A4 on Visco. And then I just have Facetune, and I really only use Facetune for just adding white into my photos. So for example, if I took a photo of like this scene right here, I would whiten my walls behind me so everything looks a lot whiter and brighter. Then Lightroom, I just kind of use this again to edit my photos just to really play around with the colors. So I usually focus on like the brightness, the contrast, the oranges, blues, and greens in my photo, that's kind of what I play around the most with. But again, I have a whole video on how I edit my photos. I have this like imaging edge thing, whatever the hell that is. That's just for if I take photos on my actual camera that I'm using, it comes through to my phone by this app. So yeah. 
and then I just have Fanto and that's how I make all of my thumbnails. So I use this to add text into my thumbnails, but I actually make my thumbnails on Canva. So if you guys want me to do a video on maybe how I edit my thumbnails or maybe just about like my whole YouTube experience, I can make a video on that for you guys too. And then I just have Unum which is pretty much just how I plan out like what photos I'm going to be posting. So you guys can see I have a few here. I haven't been on recently, but it just kind of shows you your Instagram feed and then like what photos I might want to add next. So yeah. And then I just have my finance folder, which is just all my banking stuff, really just boring stuff. So I just have like my Venmo, my banking stuff, my credit card stuff, like nothing, you know, fancy or whatever. And then I have my shopping section. I just have my Poshmark on here. So I have all the clothes I want to sell. I just sell it on there. So I think I have some things for sale too. So I'll leave my Poshmark below if you want to go check out any of my stuff. And then I just have the Like to Know It app, which I pretty much never use. But I do use it if like some influencers use the Like to Know It app. And then you screenshot the photo and put it in there. And it tells you like where their clothing is from. And what else? Okay, I have my food folder, which just has Starbucks and Chipotle. They're the only food apps I have, and we, I use those a lot, actually. And then I just have my travel section, which has Waze. I use this more than Maps. Um, Airbnb, Lyft, and Uber, so all pretty self-explanatory. And then I just have my school folder, folder which has like this um, like Microsoft Authenticator we have to have to like get codes to log in. Um, Quizlet to make all my quizzes for when I have a test coming up so I use that a lot and it's super nice to have the app so you can flick through and quiz yourself before your test and then just my school Quinnipiac app so I kind of have to have all those things but yeah that's pretty much all of the apps that I do have so yeah and then again I just organize everything by color coding I do that so much you guys can see in my background I even color coordinate all of my clothes so it's all from white to black. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys. Pretty much like what I have on my iPhone and just like how I organize it lately. It's very like aesthetic and it's just a lot less clutter and I just have all of the apps that I really use. So I highly recommend that you go through and you delete all those apps that you don't need because I had so many that I probably just never use and just had like I even had a Duncan app and I never have Dunkin' Coffee and I just have had the app for probably like three years just sitting on my phone so I highly recommend you go through and declutter everything, go through all your old photos and just delete a bunch of stuff because when I take photos I take like 50 and then I you know maybe use one or two and then all those photos just sit there and take up so much space in my phone so I highly recommend doing that. It'll make you feel so much better about your phone and being on it and yeah I think that's it. So yeah, I just highly recommend just decluttering your life. It'll make you feel so good. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all of the love I've been getting. I know you guys have been commenting, commenting a lot on my videos and that helps my channel so much. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment below. I reply to every single comment and definitely give this video a like. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your love and support and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>